We are following a police investigation on Detroit's east side. It happened this morning on Newburn Street near Conant and McNichols inside of a house along the street. One person was found dead upstairs. Police are still investigating and will continue to follow this and keep you updated as we learn more. Detroit police are asking for the public's help in finding a suspect wanted in connection to a double shooting that happened on Detroit's east side on November 11th of last year. Two 18 year old men were walking on East Outer Drive when the suspect walked by them, turned around and fired shots, killing one and injuring the other. The suspect is described as seen driving a gray or silver Dodge Charger with black stripes on the side. If you have any information, contact Detroit police. And we now have our first exposure location in Macomb County since this measles outbreak first started in Metro Detroit two weeks ago. Someone with a confirmed case of the measles visited the Bank of America on Romeo Plank Road in Macomb on March 19th. And if you were there between noon and two o'clock, you may have been exposed. The number of confirmed cases remains at 22, including the visitor from Israel. The Oakland County Health Department says that three of those patients were actually fully vaccinated with two doses of the MMR vaccine and still got the measles. 18 were not fully vaccinated or their status could not be verified. The Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals has granted Eastern Michigan University's request for an emergency stay in the Title IX case involving the reinstatement of the women's softball program. That means that the university can halt the process of hiring a softball coach and beginning the reinstatement of the program. The university has maintained the lower court's preliminary decision was an overreach placing it in the role of the athletic director to determine which sports stay.